Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this platform uh, where I will be showcasing the functionality of this phenomenal um, school assistant timetable planner. Alright, um, this session particular sheet is um, our analysis sheet. This is where you get the progress report of whatever um, activity you are carrying out on the timetable. The, the application comes with um, two sheets. So this particular one is the analysis sheet where you have to enter the subject you offer in your school according to the classes available. As you can see, this is the secondary school session and we have the primary school also depending on what your school runs. So you can contact us for any adjustment at all and all this particular information are fully editable. So this is the secondary school where you have the senior secondary school and their subject combination and you have the junior secondary school as well with subject combination. Now everything is at default. That means it is zero now because we've not entered any particular information on the timetable. So I'm just showcasing this so that you understand how the analysis sheet works. So you have to enter your subject and everything will be at zero at default. It also helps you to sum up all the subjects that are to be offered per week. Now there is a bit of information by the right corner as you can see. So you can also read it as well to get your information. Now this is the timetable sheet. This is where the main activities are conducted. And uh, permit me to inform you that this particular page or sheet whatever action you carry out on this sheet whatever subject you enter on this timetable is going to reflect on the analysis sheet so it is to give you the progress report of what you are doing as you can see the segmented into junior and senior part each line represents a particular class this is js2 this is js3 and we also have from ss1 to ss3 now the junior school they are the green color while the senior school they are the yellow color so everything is segmented in the way it should be and now in this sheet in this timetable sheet you are not typing unlike the analysis sheet where you type and everything is at default zero because no subject has been entered aha uh -huh, this is where you type but on the timetable sheet there is no need for typing you just pick from the drop down for instance for js1 maybe i want to enter mathematics for first period on monday i want to enter it to a second period also so that it will be double period now i've entered mathematics twice on the timetable let's go and see the analysis you see now it is now two analysis at and it's telling us that you have entered mathematics twice for jss1 as you can see and it's going to sum it up for you now let's go to another class jss2 let's say for first period on monday they have um english first period and then um, english second period now let's we have entered two periods for english for jss2 let's go to the analysis sheet to confirm as you can see for jss2 we have that okay now i've imputed all the subject for to save time so that um, we will not waste our time on this video as you can see i picked all the subjects from the drop down so i don't need to type on the timetable there's no need for typographic error and if you notice they are color green and color yellow still on the timetable these are free periods by convention even from the ministry at least your timetable should have periods that are free for students to go to the library uh, or engage in some other extracurricular activity so that is why we have those particular colors there and everything distributed across nine periods your school may be unique or may be peculiar all this id table now as you can see since i've entered information on the timetable you see that the analysis sheet is no longer zero unlike where we started we now have values mathematics five periods english four periods as you can see depending on the amount you are allocating for each subject in your own school all these are editable they are fully editable and you can see as our junior school we have the summary of the subject that has been entered on the timetable and also it is reflecting in the senior secondary school as well now this soft, this particular software helps you to calculate the total periods per week in this case we have 37 across junior and senior secondary school so now back to the timetable the most important part for me is this session this session by the right of the timetable this is the most important part because it saves you a lot of headache for instance if i want to know how mathematics is distributed across the timetable for junior for senior once i click that it's going to highlight where mathematics appears on the timetable for me isn't that wonderful so it will be very easy for me to locate mathematics and where it is distributed now let's go to the junior secondary school let's assume that i want to find a subject let's say phe now you see color green has highlighted where PHE appear on the timetable see it is that simple now let's assume that i want to check um, physics for instance for senior secondary school can you see in the yellow color 
the timetable as highlighted where physics appears on the timetable. As easy as that. It is is in that phenomenon, and it appears nine times. Now there's a section on that an um, analysis table where you have the total periods. So you can see total periods per week nine. So it is also going to help you to evaluate how many periods mathematics uh, physics is occurring. Now if you check the senior secondary school table, you see that on Monday two periods for SS1 and SS3 two periods. So it's going to analyze it. So it is going to help the timetable planner or the timetable committee to easily know the progress of work and how far they've gone. Okay, let's assume that I want to find P, um, let's say um, civic education for junior secondary school. Can you see it has highlighted it in green color? That is how it has been programmed. Any junior subject selected it will be green and any senior subject selected will be yellow. And if you count the amount of time civic education is appearing in six, and that is what that particular session that I've highlighted has told us as six. And if you check this table as well, you see that the subject are distributed from Monday to Sunday. So you uh, from Monday to Friday, sorry. <laughs> so now let's assume that the teacher handles a secondary school subject, let's say mathematics, and he or she also handles a junior secondary school subject. A senior secondary mathematics, a junior secondary school, let's say mathematics. You can see the timetable we highlight all the appearances of the subject. So you, you, you it will be very easy for you to know if the subjects are clashing or not, or if there is conjunction for the teacher so that you can keep quickly and um, redistribute the subject across. So that is how you make selections, and any selection you make on that drop down list is going to highlight it on the timetable. So this one is going to help you to know if a teacher is being overworked in the morning. So it will be very easy for you to spread it out or if the teacher is over is over working generally now to print ctrl p you see this is how your timetable will now look on the printer ensure you select one to one so that by the time you print no other extra pages will come with it so it's as simple as that